How you doing guys? I wanted to make a video on this because there is no good videos out there and people suck at explaining it. Okay, you have a, you got your vehicle, you want to retain your steering wheel controls, but you have an aftermarket head unit. You do not need an interface. I'm not going to say that for every vehicle, but at least for my vehicle. This is a 2018 Subaru WRX. Okay. So, online, on all the websites, Subi, and everything else, Mitra, they tell you you need a steering wheel control interface to make this stuff work. You do not need an interface, okay? So, you got your Chinese-made Android radio here. This is the uh, EO Non. I'm not sure which one, but it's, I guess, the uh, latest one out on the market right now. So, on your head unit, in the back on your harness, you're going to have... A key one or key two, or it's gonna well, you're gonna have both, or it might just be labeled K1 or K2. My K2 is in here, uh, tied up because I don't need it. So, to get your steering wheel controls to work, what you have to do is you need to take the steering wheel control wires from your vehicle. You need to specify which ones those are first. There's a uh, a lot of information out there depending on how many pins you have on your harness it uh points it out for you which ones are your steering wheel control wires so in theory you're going to have three there's going to be two uh steering wheel control wires in the ground i'm not entirely sure if you needed the ground but i grounded mine anyway so to get your steering wheel controls to work what you're going to want to do is identify your two steering wheel control wires you see i got one made it there already so that's one of my wires you're going to want to take the other wire and made it with the same key so you got your stu your two steer wheel control wires from your vehicle you want to connect those two together and made it to the one key okay this is what you're going to want to do see sorry you're going to want to make those two like that and there you go steering wheel controls work see i pre-programmed mine already and yes, it does have memory. So if you guys are concerned about, oh, I'm gonna lose, you know, my control memory every time I turn the car off because I don't have an interface. No, you're not gonna have that issue. So what you're gonna wanna do is to program your steering wheel controls, you're gonna wanna navigate through your settings. Every uh, every one of these units is gonna be different. So you're gonna wanna go in your car infotainment settings, navigate to your steering wheel control settings. See, I got mine programmed already. What you wanna do is, I'll go ahead and clear mine just to show you guys. I'm going to clear all my steering wheel controls. You're going to want to click the one. You want to add, so I'm gonna, I want to do volume up. So I'm going to click the volume up, hold volume up. Boom, it's programmed. There you go, got volume up. I'm going to do uh, volume down. I'm going to hold volume down on my steering wheel. Boom, programmed. And uh, that's all to it, guys. So I'm going to run back through this one more time. Identify the steering wheel control wires through your vehicle. So you're either going to have two or three wires. I have three, so I don't know if I need the ground or not, but I'm grounded anyway. So you're going to take your two steering wheel control wires that are left over to actually, con to actually control this here. You're going to want to mate those together, then mate it to the key one or the K1 on the back of your head unit. Then boom, program it, everything works. All right, guys, take care.